you see why B equals massive returns. Why? Because cybersecurity firms are growing like a virus. Their stock prices have skyrocketed in the last 18 months. And their opponents, the hackers, have only gotten more daring with ransomware, hacks, and supply interruptions. This has a lot of investors thinking, me included, that cybersecurity stocks are going to outperform most sectors in the coming decades. And there's a brand new leverage ETF that can deliver us 2x returns on cybersecurity. I'm Skylar James. Welcome back to the channel. So what is Ultra Cyber? and should your portfolio have it? Look at the semiconductors and the leveraged ETF SOX L that returned 25X in the last five years alone. Cybersecurity and UCYB could do that same thing over the next five years. So much of our data is moving to the cloud and how much are Amazon Web Services, Google and Apple willing to pay to protect it? The answer is, a lot. Ultra Cyber is a straightforward leveraged ETF. The ultra designation means it offers two times leverage. Investors will earn twice the increase on a positive day and twice the decrease on a negative one. Ultra Cyber does things a little bit differently than other leverage products. Rather than hold a bundle of stocks and give us two times the juice, Ultra Cyber from ProShares gives us two times the returns of the first trust cyber ETF. If its website is accurate, that means Ultra Cyber literally uses a competing ETF to leverage. Maybe it's just the most convenient way for Pro shares to track the benchmark it hopes to deliver two times against? Still, it's not something that you see every day. So what's the catalyst for these stocks being strong investments? Well, have you noticed that on days when ransomware and hacking are in the headlines, cybersecurity stocks jump? When the VMware and SolarWinds hacks were breaking news, the cyber ETF jumped 14% in the following weeks. Colonial pipeline ransomware attack, cyber jumped 4%. And then when the FBI recovered the Bitcoin used in that pipeline attack, cyber again rose 8% in a matter of weeks. Goes back to the old saying, time in the market is more important than timing the market. You can't time these hacks. These hacker headlines will become more and more common. So get these stocks in your portfolio now. A few facts about the unleveraged cyber. Since that's basically what ultra cyber is, CIBR has the largest AUM of the cybersecurity ETFs. Over 4 billion investing dollars. That's big time AUM. We know the AUM leaders tend to steer the stocks in their sector. It was the second cybersecurity ETF for investors to purchase, launching after the hack ETF from ETFMG. Even without being the first to market, cyber ended up with the most assets under management. Another big thumbs up. About 50% of the cyber holdings are in the top 10, and annually it's delivered 20% for the last five years. There are a lot of things to like about the cyber ETF. Ultra Cyber has a higher expense ratio, landing at 98 basis points. But otherwise, the Ultra ETF comes with all the same perks as the unlevered ETF. Check out these other unleveraged cybersecurity ETFs and how they overlap with the cyber ETF. This is just a dummy check I like to perform during ETF analysis that's especially important for leveraged products. Anytime competing ETFs have an overlap lap of 50% or more means the holdings are pretty similar in those funds. Pretty well agreed upon the big ETF issuers. That consensus is why the overlap is so high and it validates that the Ultra Cyber ETF is giving us access to the best investment choices. Ultra Cyber isn't using some mishmash foggy definition of cybersecurity and I'm not here to pick a single winner. I'm here for leveraged exposure to the whole scene. Big time analysts talk about the competitiveness of cybersecurity firms and how difficult it is to pick a winning horse anyway. Why not just easy button it with an ETF? Ultra Cyber offers us two times the risk and two times the reward of some 40 tech stocks. Run through these names with me. Zscaler, CrowdStrike, Okta, Fortinet, CyberArk, Palo Alto, FireEye. Like really, what's missing here? Anything? The Cyber ETF is all the stocks that stand to benefit from increased enterprise spending on cybersecurity. Ultra Cyber is looking like a slam dunk investment choice. Another dummy check here, how does this basket of cybersecurity firms perform against the unlevered NASDAQ 100 ETF QQQ? The Qs have outpaced cyber in 2021, 
but not over the one year time horizon. That's for two reasons. The first is that the 2020 story was much more about cloud, remote work, and data protection during the pandemic. Those specific niches saw demand and revenue pulled forward. That's why cyber outperformed the NASDAQ in 2020. And second, remember in December of 2020, cybersecurity stocks launched to the moon as part of the solar winds and VMware blowups. The unlevered cyber went up 15% that month alone. That's a gain not shown in 2021 year to date. Both are great funds, but I expect cybersecurity to outpace the NASDAQ going forward. So look, I'm waiting for a pullback to start accumulating ultra cyber, just like I've been doing steadily with SOX L for the leverage semi exposure. Look, if you aren't convinced about using leverage for cybersecurity, cyber from First Trust and WCBR from Wisdom Tree are both solid, unlevered picks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.